to TechX Media. We are at Jitex Global 2025, and I have with me right now Mr. Hassan Mubayyad, CEO, Memory Technology, Middle East. Let's welcome Mr. Hassan on TechX Media. Pleasure to have you here again with us. We spoke last year. How are you today? Good, very nice. Beautiful day in Dubai, as usual. Temperature is dropping and uh, beautiful weather. Thank you very much for uh, again uh, for uh, inviting me for this interview. It's a pleasure. Uh, so, Mr. Wasam, uh, tell me, memory technology, how is it evolving to meet today's storage demands? Of course, uh, memory technology has been in the market for the last 25 years and been evolving, uh, evolving since the beginning. So, uh, the, we believe in technology and technology keeps changing and MTC has a change with the technology. So, we are a vendor-driven uh, distributor we distribute our product in the in the whole region of Middle East. Uh, so to count, we have an offices in Dubai, the headquarter. We have offices in uh, Jeddah, in Riyadh, in Pakistan. But also we cover the whole Middle East, uh, Middle East market, and also North Africa's Arabic-speaking countries. This is the market that we are covering. Interesting. Since you mentioned that uh, Memory Technology is a vendor-driven company. So what importance does partnerships have in your company and how do they contribute to overall growth of the organization? Of course, so we are building our business MTC based on trust. We are investing in the, in the trust. We are hiring uh, the right team uh, that are uh, technology driven, young people, young generation, uh, uh, understand technology, understand today's technology. Even we have been in the market for the last 25 years, but we are investing now in a new generation. So you will find a younger age in MTC, in Saudi Arabia, in Dubai, uh, basically driving the next wave of technology in the, in the Middle East. Okay, building on my previous question, you talked about the next wave. What trends you see now in memory storage market, particularly in the Middle East region? Of course, memory market has been, uh, you know, it's been there for a long time, since the beginning. I remember uh, the one gig uh, hard drive was maybe, uh, you know, a, a box uh, like this size, okay? Yes, we had uh, those big Yeah, drives. one gig, one, one meg, one meg. Did I say one gig? No, it's one meg. It used to be like this uh, much box. Uh, and it's been evolving. It's been, it's the memory, it's about reducing size, but it also emphasizing in capacity. So every year to year, there is doubling the capacity of, uh, of memory, year to year. So we've been 25 years. We started with one, uh, one uh, May, today is one Tera. Okay, it's a huge, uh, you know. With that, of course, technology is changing as well. And now with the new wave of AI, I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm really, I see another wave of AI creating a huge demand for memory. So we are very happy. We are distributor for many brands and we are very happy to, to distribute this brand. So we are a top distributor for Samsung brand. We are proud to say that we have been a distributor for them for the last 25 years. Uh, and we've been awarded many awards through the years and bringing always the challenge of uh, bringing the Middle East closer to the worldwide uh, te technology. So this is our job as a distributor. We cover uh, Middle East for Samsung, for Toshiba, uh, uh, for Coxia, used to be uh, called Toshiba Memory. Now it's Coxia. Memory is a Japanese company. And we are proud to say that we are distributor for their, uh, for their brand. And of course, when we distribute the vendor brand, uh, uh, you know, we carry the changes in technology and we, we also see what is the market required. We start from the customers, but also we learn how this vendor driving their business in Europe or US, and we try to bring the same uh, same uh, learning for uh, for this our market. We believe that we are not only a distributor, but also we bring uh, we bring the latest technology. We want the Middle East to catch up with Europe and and the international market as soon as possible, sooner than later. Okay, which today I believe Middle East UAE. Saudi Arabia specifically are really advancing in a big way. Always Dubai and Saudi Arabia bring opportunity for us. 
they bring in other opportunity right now for us. And to be part of the memory distributors of the market, we are the main memory distributor in the market. We carry more than 20 brands, okay, uh, in the market. So we are happy to be to take the next wave. The next wave is great. AI, Middle East, NVIDIA, it's great. We're looking great. Very interesting. So uh, are there any specific challenges in memory supply chain which MPC is trying to address? Of course, now, now is a huge shortage in memory. They have been for the last one year. There is the DRAM, there is the flash, the flash keep expanding, but also requirement, it's getting bigger and bigger for business, for today, uh, online businesses, for, uh, for content creating, it's so much demand. Today, you don't buy phone with 64 uh, gig anymore. You buy your phone with one tera. And you could, you could look, and the same thing apply for all kind of businesses. Mm. Same thing like it, it's expanded 10 years ago, you buy your phone with 64, right? Today with one, one uh, tera, normal. This is one tera, two tera. It's unbelievable. And the whole, this is a creating shortage, in fact. That's what's creating shortage. Demand is creating shortage. We are very happy to be supported by many vendors at our side, okay, to supply. Lexer is, is also one of the brands that we are carrying for memory. And also uh, Samsung, Foxia, Toshiba, many, many, many uh, brands that we carry uh, in, in our portfolio. We are, we are basically covering, I would say, more than 70% of the brands worldwide and their memory. We are proud, MTC proud, to be carrying 70% of the memory vendors worldwide for Middle East. Very interesting. So we have talked about MTC, your partnerships, uh, new trends. Uh, now I want to ask something, since you have been in the technology industry for uh, more than 25 years now, if I'm, not, if I'm right, uh, and you come from a country uh, um, and we don't get to hear much about Syria. Can you give us an overview of how is the technology landscape there in Syria and how do you see it evolving over the coming years? Oh, it's a very interesting question. Thank you very much for asking this question. It's bring pleasure to me because I'm from Syria and uh, Syria has, uh, you know, a special place in my heart. Okay. And I'm happy to uh, to see Syria now is a free, uh, uh, free, and now it's open for business. Syria is in a very difficult situation at this time. Mm -hmm. It requires everything. It's a huge opportunity mm -hmm. for all international company. Mm -hmm. For our business, we will be starting our office soon in Syria. Uh, all the embargo, all the laws, been now they start, you know, uh, opening there, as and. What's most interested, interesting things in Syria that, uh, that all the people who are now in the ministries, okay, so they are, in fact, uh, they are uh, technology driven. They don't wanna, they, they wanna use technology, they wanna use the latest technology. So it was a pleasure for me to meet the Minister of Telecommunication in my last visit to uh, Syria, and he is really, He's gearing up with a lot of uh, big team over there, and they are uh, they are coming from the technology uh, field as well. They are not a stranger to the technology field. So whoever is leading right now Syria, they want to bring the latest technology. I'm going to be part of this uh, journey. I'm going to uh, 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 put my effort to uh, to uh, for Syria. I want to uh, make difference. I want to make Syria uh, to be a different. Uh, in the in the in the map of Middle East, Syria has always been important, but now it's coming back to the to the real, real world. Okay, so I'm happy to be part of this, and I'm looking forward. And invite I invite all the companies to to come and visit us or visit Syria, and because there is opportunity for everyone in Syria. Definitely, we also look forward to seeing MTC growing uh, beyond borders and expanding. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Osam, for uh, joining us today. It, as always, it was great talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure. you for watching.